right from there, the, the uh, specialist in Pittsburgh said um, she has PFFD, which is proximal femoral focal deficiency, and it's the same thing. And he said, the only thing you can do is amputate. And he patted my ex-husband on the shoulder and said, hang in there. As a parent, you want them to be able to live everyday life. Like the Paley Foundation has something that can actually help these kids. I began the Paley Foundation in order to be able to help children from all around the world and the United States be able to avoid amputation and save their limbs? Um, you know, as far as the pain goes, there are certain pieces I remember about when I was younger and the different surgeries that I went through. Um, the big ones are what I remember most, of course, the amputation. Um, so of course, you know, those are big highlights for me, you know, things that I remember from my childhood that, you know, she's never going to have to go through. Over the years, I've seen uh, numerous children whose parents have the same condition they have. Their parents were treated with an amputation. And I see this over and over and over again, which I think tells me that even though we say prosthetics are great, nobody who has an option wants to have their leg cut off and a prosthetic leg uh, used as a replacement. If I can do it, you can do it. It's that it gives these, chance, these kids a chance to live their life, live their dream, that even though they have to sacrifice so much, you look at the bigger picture. They're able to become uh, a functional part of society, obtain jobs, uh, lead normal lives, have families, and so on. And so the impact of, of what we are doing um, on a child who might only be 18 months old is lifelong and uh, has uh, dividends both to them, to their families, uh, and to society.